Spider-Man is one of Marvel's most loved characters and is often referred to as your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. However, in a What If series, Spider-Man comes into contact with the Venom symbiote that alters his mind, giving him a darker demeanor. Since that time, Peter had been having nightmares on a consistent basis which prevented him from getting much sleep, as they were typically about losing the ones that he loved. To clear his mind, he put on the Venom symbiote suit and went out to get some fresh air. A cry for help came from down the street as an old lady was being mugged by two men. Out of nowhere, webs came flying in along with Spider-Man sporting his new black suit. The two thieves were quickly apprehended, and Peter went on his way back home to get some much-needed sleep. While he was asleep, MJ came in to check on Peter who threw her aside violently when she tried to wake him. He began to explain himself to MJ who was worried for Peter and commented that his new suit was a different, darker look than what she was used to. With the nightmares and dark thoughts starting to affect him more, Peter decided that he needed to take his suit to Reed Richards to get it tested, something that he had been putting off for some time. While on his way to Mr. Fantastic, his spider senses kicked in to alert him that flying in on a glider was Hobgoblin. As of late, Hobgoblin had been a thorn in the side of Spider-Man, and today was not the day that he wanted to deal with him. After a short fight, Spider-Man quickly beat the Hobgoblin and grew less and less patient with him as he began to knock some sense into him. While punching the Hobgoblin, the Venom symbiote wanted Peter to kill him. However, Spider-Man showed mercy and wanted to instead instill fear into the Goblin's mind and let him know that things weren't going to be the same anymore. Leaving Hobgoblin to think on the beating that he had just given him, Peter finally got to the Baxter building to have Reed Richards run diagnostic tests on the new suit. While the testing began, Peter became unconscious and began to have his nightmares about losing the ones that he loved again. When he woke up, Mr. Fantastic was there to calm him from his nightmares and began to explain the discoveries that he had found about the suit. As it turned out, the suit reacted to Peter's thoughts and emotions, and Peter also reacted to the suit's thoughts as well. The symbiote fed off of its host, and that's why the two were stronger together. Mr. Fantastic thought that it would be best if Peter left the suit with him for further examination, but Peter wanted no part of that science experiment and assured Reed that he felt more clear than ever and that he and the symbiote were helping each other. While Peter made his way back home, he reflected on Uncle Ben and acknowledged that he hadn't had nightmares like he was having since Uncle Ben's passing. He then made it back home to talk to Aunt May to seek advice. However, in a tree watching from above was Hobgoblin, waiting for the right moment to strike and take his revenge for his earlier humiliation. Inside, Aunt May began to consult Peter in these difficult times and gave him her words of wisdom and assured him that she loved him. Peter's spider senses began to kick in, but not in time as a bomb went off with the Hobgoblin making his appearance flying in on his glider. Spider-Man had had enough of his enemy as he began to wail on the Goblin. This time, however, Peter was not holding back and beat him senseless. Meanwhile, the building with Aunt May was on fire and on the verge of collapsing. Peter insisted on going in for Aunt May, but the Venom symbiote knew that the fire would kill it and held Peter back. While the two fought with one another and debated on what to do, the building collapsed, killing Aunt May. Hobgoblin used this time to try and make his escape, but after this very personal attack, the anger began to swell within Peter because of the loss of his last parental figure. Spider-Man shot his webs, constricting his enemy. As Hobgoblin began to beg for mercy, he claimed that Spider-Man was the one who had started all of this. Clearly, that was not what Spider-Man wanted to hear at this moment, as he simply responded, but I'll finish it. He proceeded to grab the Hobgoblin's head and press his thumbs into his enemy's eyes as he reflected on the power that the new suit gave him, a power that he vowed to use to keep anyone else from getting hurt. With the Hobgoblin defeated for good, Spider-Man left his enemy hanging limply from a light post.